Good morning. Again, I'm back. All right, so this is my final design team project for Artsology for um, June. And let me grab my papers. And it turned out that I needed one of these. So um, again, I'll just throw out a refresher. I used her label kit and her more labels kit. I think it might just be more labels. So there's those. And then I used the domino tile thing and I will list them all again um, as a refresher. And then I used her tag, the mushroom tag kit. And this, what I'm showing you is normal size. Okay, and then I use the mushroom trims and the mushroom washi and then I use the mushroom tear kits tear sheets not kits sorry well it is a kit sorry So there's four in that one. And then I use the envelope kit, mushroom envelope kit. Okay. And then I use the ticket kit. And then I used, um, they're the Victorian ladies tear sheets. So, and then there's four in this one as well. Okay, and then the fourth one is right here, but I stole a butterfly. So you can kind of see the shape right here. I stole a butterfly out of that one. Okay, so let's get started. There's five little mini journals. And they measure about three and a half by four and a half inches. And they're pretty thick. I would say at their thickest, they are an inch and a quarter. Okay, so I'm only gonna show you two because they're all pretty much the same. Um, you'll notice the cover is actually printed fabric. And so I printed the designs. Again, I used the setting three and a half by five for these. And these are just the um, extras that I didn't have books for. So, and then this is, I believe that, I think this is the four by six setting. And, um, oh, sorry, didn't mean to bump you. Um, I will be using that one in the 5x7 journal. So they look really cute, don't they? On fabric. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you this one. It's just a tie closure. And these are sewn in there. So they're not going anywhere. All right. So it's one signature for all of them. So we have the file folders we made together. Um, and this is avocado dyed paper and tea stain paper. I don't actually think I used any coffee dye on any of these. Okay, then we come to a belly band. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay, a belly band. And then I've included an envelope. And this is the one that was printed out at the three, three by five size. So, and then you just have the little journaling card inside. Okay, then you flip it open. And there's, this is the regular size printed ta uh, ticket there. It's a little pocket there. Okay. One of these, and there's tags up in here that you can remove. More coffee or avocado and coffee dyed. Um, some washi stickers for this side. I did that um, 
to kind of firm up the paper a little bit and it worked. Okay, so then this is that multi-layer layer pocket we just did a little bit ago. Um, and then there's two tags here, two tags in this pocket, there's three tags in this little pocket, and then I use the washi tape um, downsized to the wallet size as another little holder. And then these are the little tickets in miniature. And then this is the wallet size of the um, little envelope. And so then it, it does open up and it's got a little tiny card inside. So then they just tuck back in there. Okay. And then this is um, con the uh, painter's paper, um, just in brown and not in green. Middle of the signature. Then we come to the other side of this one. Again, the two up here, two, three little tags, little envelope, and then the little tiny tickets. Washi sticker. The pocket with the tag. This is the other side to this one. A little bit of or sorry, the big, the original size ticket. Another belly band with a little envelope there. Okay, so there's that one. The other one I'm going to show you, because there's just a little bit of a difference in them. this one yep okay so the pocket with the belly band this one is a little bit shorter but it still has the same size envelope there and then it just has I think this was the five by seven size ticket in there so that is really the only differences obviously each journal has different decorations on them at different placements, but they are all the same. And I guess too, I wanted to tell you that um, the reason I decided to use this one in addition to the kit is because I want to highlight that uh, like most of all of her graphics, you can combine different different graphics in there. Uh, or you know, you can use different things because like the greens, I don't know if you can tell. I mean, this is part of the mushroom. But the greens and the leaves, they do match. And so um, when you buy the kits, you can interchange um, different packages or kits with different kits. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Um, these will be listed in my shop hopefully tomorrow, um, if not later this afternoon. Um, so thank you for hanging with me. And I thoroughly enjoyed this project. And thank you so much, Deb, for letting me be a part of your design, design team. I have enjoyed every bit of it, and um, as I said earlier, I will have those 5x7 journals done a little bit later in the month, and maybe I'll take that opportunity to also do some more tutorials. All right, thank you. Have a great day.